we have a power in our mind which is able to control what is happening in the in our body uh, are we able to go 100 in into 100 percent power of our own brain the seat of the mind we are through the power of the will and intention i i thought to do things thought of impossible yeah and uh, like climbing mount everest in your shorts if you know how to control it you know how to control the extremes coming to you not making you paranoid or uh, full of anxiety you are able to tap in and to find even the way where nothing is visible three hours later I found myself in an advanced base camp at 20,000 feet uh, uh, received by Tibetans who saw a man in shorts coming out of the snow. <laughs> Must be the Yeti, right. or the snowman, or the iceman, but actually it's the power of the mind which led me intuitively to the right place. So if you are able to do that uh, and you find yourself, then we are able to do a whole lot more. I went into the deepest, I activated it while being stressfully exposed to ice water on the skin and normally you cannot do nothing, there's no breathing in the brain scan, you cannot move, it's nothing. Only you can use the power of your own brain, of your mind. And it showed I was making the skin temperature not going down while being exposed to ice water. Mm. So then they looked inside the brain and then uh, they saw on the surface the thinking brain, the prefrontal cortex, the conscious brain, our thought thinking brain, go into the deepest part of the brain and robustly activating. So the, if you are able to go into the deepest, then you have done them all. You can go anywhere. And that is now the question. We are on the threshold of the power of the mind being accessible for every human mm. in the world. When the first time people broke the record by going uh, 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 below uh, 10 seconds, the next year 15 people could do it. It's morphology. Mm. We are connected. We only need to have this conviction now and this belief uh, uh, based on science. Hey, uh, guys, you are able to take over the power of your own brain it's here just invest into that and not invest into not being able to do that hmm. we become immortal by understanding through the power of our own brain to connect with the soul and because that sounds like hippie bullshit that's why I go through science right I take the brain surgeons, I take uh, the neurologists, the, the immunologists, the biochemical professors, and hey, I challenge any scientist in the world, prove me wrong. Yeah. I think that we are here, here on this earth to prove that the soul is able to go through our conscious brain mm -hmm. and become manifested. And, uh, so, uh, and that is the core. If we stay at the core, we grow into it. But no, this world is about, uh, you got to serve the system. You got to serve the, uh, the system who creates wars and stress and diseases and things that is normal and we cannot do anything. No, we can do all. We can bring peace and power to ourselves to become happy, strong and healthy. And with that, the purpose of our lives the soul itself. We are able to become happy. What else do you want? Right. You don't want six cars or te te 10 houses and uh, uh, so many uh, other things to compensate the loss of your security. And scarcity. Because you are happy. Because you feel whole, because also you have, you're healthy and you're strong, you're vibrant also as well. Yes. So you're not, you're not trying to necessarily have to take from somebody else or put anybody else down. If you have eaten, you are no hungry anymore. Right. If you are happy, you don't seek for compensation. Right. You're there and you emanate love.
When I, when I interviewed you five years ago, I started doing the cold showers every morning. The most popular episode that we have in our show is my morning routine. And we always get people commenting on cold showers because they love everything else, but the cold showers is difficult. Where do people start with that, do you recommend? Uh, they don't have to do like a 10 minutes in the beginning. No, 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 uh, 30 seconds at the most. Don't go shockingly around with your physiology, with your body. No, right. no shocking. It's just 30 seconds cold. And know that you are able to use the power of your mind. That we have a power in our mind which is able to control what is happening in, the, in our body. It's called interoceptive focus. Mm -hmm. And you, learn, you can learn that uh, right away. If your house is on fire, you run fast. You don't need no nothing, no trigger. Right. So that, that is a control of the adrenaline and it's empowered by the adrenal axis and it's moved inside of our brain. So if you learn to go into that part of the brain, you learn not only to go into the cold shower, you learn the power of your brain, mm. of your mind to co learn to control. Once you learn to control to go into the cold shower, the cold is only a mirror for, uh, uh, and it's good for your vascular system. It's a teacher. But the uh, mind is being exercised. And that mind is then very much more able to oppose stress in daily life, in your business mm. meetings, in your deadlines, in this and that. Because it's all about the physiology connected to the brain. Right. And you are in control.